Yeah. So guys, um, today, today, Arise TV had a discussion about this very dark man, Bob Risky, the audio, the accusation and files, request and everything. You know, say very dark man insisting not the fame files the bad guy. And when I'm trying to explain it to some of you here, it could be like they talk nonsense. It could be like say I hate some. No, I don't. I'm talking from a different level of understanding that many of us don't have. And if you don't have that level of understanding, what you do is learn. If you don't learn, you go enter trouble. Now let me play you this video, right? Um watch this. I mean, uh, this has caused a lot of frenzy on social media. There's a person that they said was implicated. Uh, Haliru Naba, who's a controller general of the Nigerian Correctional Service. Service. That was one of the names that was called in that audio recording. Again, it's still an allegation. Well, very dark man's pose, which has since gone viral, has caught the attention of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Ministry of Interior. Both agencies have ordered an immediate investigation, investigation into the investigation. allegations. The Post has also caught the attention of Fowles, who on Wednesday demanded a 24-hour retraction from Very Dark Man for defamation after he claimed that Fowles may have been complicit in the scandal and also questioned his sexual orientation. All right. Um, of course, we know that Fowles is the son of a senior advocate. He's already gone to uh, social media to post his um, retraction demand from Very Dark Man. If I can read some of the excerpts of that letter, let me pull that up. To set the record straight, our client never at any point initiated a conversation with Mrs. Idris or Mr. Idris Okunaye. <laughs> our client Mrs. has documentary evidence that Mr. Idris was in fact the one who initiated a call. Okay. Specifically on the 4th of May, 2024, Mr. Idris, AKA Bob Risky, contacted our client requesting a phone conversation with him. Our client obliged, having knowledge of the Naira abuse charges levied against him and genuinely believing he might require legal advice. Okay. Mr. Idris, a.k.a. Bob Risky, called shortly after, but instead of soliciting legal advice, stated that, that he money. was in distress and needed financial assistance of about 3 million Naira which he claimed he needed to pay some officials to be permitted to stay in the VIP section of the of correctional the center. In the letter, Falana asked for a public apology to be published across all platforms where the false defamation was disseminated. The letter added that there should be a retraction and apology to be issued within 24 hours or would pursue legal actions, including claims for monetary damages. Damn. There was another statement that was in that letter, which was the main defamation. Faust had said, without contacting our client, you went ahead, that is very dark man, to publish a careless statement containing multiple allegations, including an insinuation that our client is involved in actual affair and intended to get a presidential pardon for Mr. Idris Okunaya. Okay. Very dark man. Very dark man, Bowlen. He has actually responded, Ayo. I watched his um, uh, post, I believe it was on YouTube, and he talked about the fact that, you know, he did not uh, accuse uh, Files of anything, but you heard in that video, if you all heard that video clip, he did insinuate that oh, Files yet. may have been... Um, but I think the big story here is the accusation, really, of the EFCC officials and the Nigerian Correctional Facility. I would like to start with Dr. Abati. Really, okay, on now this let's conversation. hear sensible okay. opinions. I mean, this is a very disturbing thing. Yeah. The first point we must admit is that all the parties involved have been saying, oh, I didn't say this, I didn't say that. First, social media interaction, electronic interaction, that's what we have seen. First, to establish that people must know that what you do on a, on a phone or uh, 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 internet or computer yeah. and all that, the evidence is admissible in law in Nigeria. Yes. Section 84 of the Evidence Act of uh, uh, 2011 and also Section 258 of 258. the Evidence Act. And also we have the book on uh, electronic evidence in Nigeria, the uh, 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 the, one of the authorities that I know is that of uh, Justice Alaba Ajileye. So nobody should say, oh, uh, it's not my voice. It's this and that. <laughs> the court 
can admit the evidence and investigate it. That's okay. number one. Number two is that a very dark man, I think his name is uh, Essay, Victor Essay, he has said, oh, What's is it Martins? Martins Essay, whatever. That, oh, he didn't say those things. He just uh, asked a question that uh, his father has also no, there's something in local innuendo. Absolutely. Well, that if you just make any unnecessary innuendo that is defamatory per se, you can be called to question. Can you and guys it is it? on the basis of that that counsel to uh, uh, Files, uh, that's uh, uh, Mr. Falano Jr., you know, Falano Y. Falano, has said there should be a retraction. What he has said, you know, through his lawyer, the Jardin Yonju, that, oh, he didn't say so. Well, <laughs> he will have, if uh, uh, Fulano and Fulano decides to go to court, he, you know, he will have to go and defend himself. Yes. Number three, he also alleged that uh, Femi Fulano, SEM, you know, was involved in this attempt to procure pardon. Uh, in terms of the implication for the justice administration yes. system in Nigeria, that's a very serious matter. Okay. Yes. In that same video, they, there was evidence, uh, you know, the allusion that uh, Bobrisky. Uh, his name is Okuneye, Idris Okuneye, was said to have been uh, sentenced to prison first, that he, he procured uh, the reduction of the charges, yes. and second, that a certain godfather intervened, and that instead of going to prison, they paid a certain controller general, and he stayed in a flat. These are very disturbing things about yes. the justice system in Nigeria. Yes. Like, I've seen people who say anything is possible here. After all, we were in this country. When a certain person, who shall remain nameless, was uh, in prison, and his wife uh, Give well, wife pre impregnated his wife from prison. Mm -hmm. And in fact, there was a naming ceremony while he was still in prison. Yeah. How did he get to a position yeah. where he impregnated his wife? Immaculate conception. Immaculate You know, this is where I want you to come in, uh, Rufai, really yeah. quickly, because this is the bigger conversation. The fact that, you know, our prison system, is, you know, Allegedly so porous. I mean, if you had seen some reports from FIJ, yeah. uh, Fushayo Soyombo, he had posted different, you know, I, it, there was a time he spent in jail. Yeah. On, he went undercover and yeah, he did you. reveal damning evidence about yeah. the fact that our prison system is like this. So that report is out there. Yeah. And um, the question is, what will the Minister of Interior do? Yeah. So yeah. generally so he, has, he has said that they will order an investigation. We'll see the outcome of that investigation. There are some investigations we're waiting. Okay. We're also waiting for the EFCC as regards to 15 million that was said so uh, collected. to be given to some EFCC officials to be able to give them, you know, uh, to be able to drop those charges of money laundering. Yes. Because all of us too were surprised when that thing happened because all of a sudden it was money laundering charges plus Naira flunking. Yes. Then all of, all of a sudden the... money laundering dropped, dropped yeah. then it was just only Naira flunking before it went in for this. Then also, we will have to have investigations deeply because we've heard a lot of complaints, especially as regards the prison service, what goes on there. In fact, we've had like two people bring letters officially that I have sent to the minister himself mm -hmm. as regards the state of our prison and what is really going on there. So we'd like to get to the end of the matter. As regards uh, the very dark man revelation, if uh, Bob Risky is saying that he didn't say all those things, I think we also need to have a private investigation where we subject Bobrisky's voice to forensics. To forensics? Yes, because there is so that AIO. we can get mm -hmm. yeah, so that we can Not get a, a full forensic yes. outlook as regards what happened. Mm -hmm. And as regards uh, Falls writing that letter saying they should retract, you know when you look at a uh, very dark man's uh, what's it called the uh, video expose, there were some things he needed to have been careful on. I, can you hear? I think just playing the audio will have been adequate. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. A lot of mistakes were made in the analysis where he went ahead to cast a and say, oh, this person is friend, this person. So they, they should not go that way. Mm -hmm. Like Dr. Wati said, he oh, left God. room for innuendos oh, there. God. Oh, because God. when you read Files' rebuttal, he now gave a full context to the conversation, yes. saying that they... We're even telling them that you don't need to pay for any pardon. No, so, not, not for any pardon, for the VIP section. The only conversation yes. they had was a, was a, a three session. million naira, naira to be paid for whatever. VIP. So he the gave VIP. some clarity yes, and he the did. context right. in that matter. Mm. But all of this too is not ending because 
You know, all of this really started because of money. Mm -hmm. yes. The person that released that audio to very dark man was being owed money by Bobrinsky. Yes. And the money has been paid. And very dark man says he's not going to release the audio. Wait, has the money been paid? Yes, okay. the money has been paid. Four million naira. Yes. He okay. showed the updates. In fact, Bobrinsky was calling, to calling the person and was even wow. willing to pay. So the money has been paid. I think to get to the nitty gritty of this matter, because me, I love Wawulet. <laughs> Very dark man yes. said more names were mentioned mm -hmm. in the part B of the audio. Yes, yeah, sure. Very dark man, we beg you. Sure. With everything we owe yes. for the integrity and the safety and the love yes. we have for this country. Sure. You must release that part two of that audio. <laughs> we need it. We need it. Absolutely. We need to be able to hear more names. We need to be able to get to the end of this matter. Yes. Okay, let me end here. You see, I told you guys from the start. You got an audio about a discussion between Bob Risky and somebody we want big money. What you do first is to confirm if this audio is authentic. Now, if you have confirmed if it's authentic, because it's possible that the audio is doctored. I'm not saying it's doctored. I'm saying it's possible. Now, when you've confirmed, be sure of the level of statements you made. You don't hear when Rufai, they say he made a lot of mistake in that is video. That was what I was telling you. I said there's a lot of loopholes in this video I'm watching. You have to be very careful because you get the way it will be. You go neighbor risky, then nail yourself join. That was what I said to all these bulldog, the way they support the old day. Because after the same another is sort of ego and ego. You don't know something. Then somebody who knows it is telling you, and instead of you to learn, you say, "Eh, now because you hate her, eh, you be idiot, eh, you be this and you be that all day." Understand that what you tell somebody in Nigeria and goes called away free with. If you tell somebody for America and a different ball game, what you do abroad, if you do it for Nigeria, it's a different ball game. You should understand that for you to be able to do something in any client, you understand that the laws in that client works. If Terry Darkman understands how the laws in Nigeria work, that video when he played, that audio, if I just play the audio, finish, cut or say, Nigeria prisons, EFCC, uh, Falano, Fast News, they run. Please, we need you people to tell us exactly what happened. That's all. But instead, he was busy insulting people. He was busy saying, I be you too, they do. And then you say, No be defamation. Because for his brain, no be defamation. He go, No, just now, say that defamation. It doesn't make sense. Bro, apologize to Faris, retract that statement, and let's focus on Bob Whiskey's own.